Look, it really is stunning how this pendulum has swung for the Titans in a week. Last week, the league was telling other teams that the Titans were facing a historic punishment. The league was telling them that. League employees were saying, we have to get them for this. We have no choice. They didn't follow the protocols. They had this this practice session or more than one practice session. There were rumors a coach was at the practice sessions. They, they were getting ready yeah. to hit the Titans like no team has ever been hit before, and then something happened and they backed off. Yesterday there was a conference call, the commissioner talking about the situation in Tennessee. Our focus isn't punishment, it's safety. And then right at the outset of the broadcast last night on CBS, national platform, yeah. Jay Feely said the commissioner told him no one from Tennessee willingly violated the protocols. There it is. There it, there it is. Who? What, they're not going to punish anybody for accidentally violating the protocols when everyone's accidentally violating the protocols. So, you know, this is weird balance the NFL is trying to strike between deterrence but also not making it so big of an issue that it overwhelms the football season. They want to talk about football and focus on football. Well, if you have somebody that you think is violating the rules and uh, the only way to handle it is to punish them, but you want the focus to be on football, that's when you have to walk away. And I think at the end of the day, the NFL realized, you know what, we may be stepping into a problem here because look at what happened with Deflategate, the fight that we bought ourselves with the Patriots. Right. Look at what happened with the bounty scandal, the fight that we bought ourselves with the Saints. Those all played out in the offseason. The last thing the NFL needed is to get itself into a fight, whether in arbitration, litigation, public relations, however, a fight with the Titans – that would have caused the Titans to say, look at what everyone else is doing. You're factually wrong. You're trumping up the charges. You know, we've seen that before with both the Saints case and the Patriots case where facts were trumped up, frankly. The NFL wisely deciding now isn't the time to take on that kind of a fight, not when we're trying to hold together with duct tape and glue a football season that is careening toward an 18th week maybe a 19th week, right. and maybe canceled games. Well, I, I guess I understand it from the NFL standpoint. I do. I mean, maybe they deal with it in the offseason if they have to. I, I, I don't know, you know, where they go from there. Mike, I had kind of heard the same thing from somebody I trust involved with the league last week too, that, you know, the Titans, that there was talk that they could be in big trouble, that, that they, they might come down with a heavy hand. Maybe that was being said just to scare them and other teams. I don't know. Maybe that was the NFL's plan just to kind of, oh, everybody's ears are perked up right now because of what's going on in Tennessee. Let's kind of tell everybody that they might face bad discipline to get everybody back on their P's and Q's. Maybe, maybe that's Here's the problem, though. Here's yeah. the problem, though. Yeah. If you huff and puff and don't blow the house You're down, right. what message does that ultimately send to the other team? You're right. right? I, I guess they're un hoping. Unless, yeah. un unless there's a memo that's sent out at some point saying – hey, we've been through this for three months now and we're all learning on the fly, but now we all know what the rules are and we're telling you going forward, if anybody fails to comply, you're done. Yeah. That, that's the Maybe. only way to, to breathe any relevance into the – because they were. They were sending the message last week, the Titans are going to get it, the Titans are going to get it, and now they're not going to get it. And the other teams are looking at it saying, well, I guess there is no consequence if you violate these protocols. Well, yeah, I, I, and I hope the teams aren't looking at it that way. I hope the teams are looking at it more like, whoa, Tennessee still almost screwed up the season for a lot of people here. Let's not be that team, I hope. you know. But you're right. I mean, that's going to fall onto some deaf ears a little bit when they see there's no repercussions or anything like that. But I, I, I'm, I'm guessing that I, I'm, I'm with you. I think the NFL just looked at it and went, we're going about to get into a fight. That's going to distract and cause other issues here other than just like we're just happy we're playing football. Let's kind of keep the attention on that for right now and not make more of a divide with the fans or anything like that about is it safe or whatever else. And I think they probably fell back into the human aspect of the conversation to like what Mike Vrabel said from the get go, which there is definitely you have like it's nobody's fault. You know, yeah, there it, it's it's this is a pandemic. So as much as we've heard and we think why it got in their building and things like that, you know, I don't know. It doesn't seem like we know that concrete answer. And of course there's a lot of variables right now with the way the NFL is handling this situation to where guys could get the, the virus. And uh, so I get why the NFL did it, Mike. I think you're right. I think that's probably the reason why they did it. 
I don't want to get too far inside baseball here, but the Titans have now stared down the NFL a couple of times. There's been an ownership structure issue since the passing of Bud Adams with how he's bequeathed the team and where control of the team is. And the NFL was pushing and pushing and pushing. And the Titans pushed back and the NFL backed off. So the Titans are winning on the field and the Titans are winning off the field. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.